All right, once you get around to the back side of the boiler, um, the part with the seam, you're going to want to be putting more heat on the base than you are on the seam. You don't want to melt the seam here. Uh, so I'd suggest you start soldering at the back and, and work your way around to the front um, near the seam. And just watch how I do this. I'm just going to end up putting most of the heat under under the, the boiler at the base. Okay, we've got the bottom soldered in, the seam of the boiler soldered up. Next step is going to be putting the, the vapor cone together and then putting it on top of the boiler. Um, though before you do that, I would suggest, uh, this would be a great time, to fill this thing up with water and make sure you don't have any leaks. It's very possible you have a leak or two uh, here or there. That's fine. All you need to do is um, figure out where your leaks are, if there are any. Heat it up a little bit, put a little bit more solder on it, and then move on. So after you have your cone soldered, um, you're going to want to work it by hand and get it as round as possible. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just close. So just eyeball it from the top and from the bottom and make sure that's pretty round. You're going to want to do the same thing with, uh, with the boiler. Just sort of eyeball it and anywhere it doesn't seem to be round, just bend it a little bit and get it as good as you can. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to lay this small end down uh, and we're going to just fit the boiler down inside of it. And if you have it pretty round, it should fit in there pretty well. Um, what we're going to do is place the boiler in the cone so the seam of the boiler is on the opposite side as the seam from the cone. So the seam from the cone is on the left here. and the boiler seam is going to be on my right, and we're going, to, we're going to align those so they're opposite from one another, and then we'll solder it together. It's very important that when you get to the joints that have already been soldered, you don't heat them directly when you're joining parts. So I'm going to make my way around from uh, the side of the, uh, the boiler and the vapor cone here to this seam and once I get to this seam I'm going to stop applying heat to the boiler and I'm going to apply all the heat to the vapor cone below.
right, we've got the boiler, uh, the, the vapor cone soldered into place on the boiler here. Uh, as you can see, there's some smoke coming out the top. Uh, this would be a good time to look down inside. If you've done a good job, you won't have any drip marks um, where the, uh, the solder in the joint here has dripped towards the cone here. If you got, you may have gotten a little too hot. I actually got this a little too hot, and there are a few drip marks. Most of them you can just sort of knock off with your fingers. They're not going to harm anything um, if you do have them there. Um, if you really want to get make this thing absolutely perfect, you could heat this from the, the top and sort of brush them away with something on the inside. Um, but I'm going to leave this one as it is. It's, it's okay.